Hello human beings, I am Crazy Lexian and welcome back to VR in a wheelchair. Today we are reviewing a game called 4VR Pool. 4VR Pool is as the name suggests, a pool game. 4VR has other games in the same genre like 4VR Bowl, 4VR Darts, 4VR Cornhole and now 4VR Pool. When you get into the game, you're greeted with a announcer. His voice sounds super familiar. He then tells you that you need to go through the tutorial to learn the ropes. When you get into the tutorial, you're walked through how you walk. It's teleportation in the tutorial. Then you learn how to navigate the pool table and how to get away from the pool table. After that, you choose your dominant hand and then you learn how to shoot the pool ball with the pool stick. All this is done in a set of three repetitions, so there is a great chance of you remembering how to do everything. The only thing I missed a little from the tutorial is how you spin the ball. Thankfully it is showed with some pictures in the queue corner, in the main lobby. When you are done with the tutorial, you will return to the main menu lobby. You then get three gift packages that contains a queue in each of them. You can then go over to the queue corner and pick up to five different queues that you can switch between doing a match. I didn't figure out how to do that as I forgot it while I was playing. Each of them has different stats, but again, I didn't check them. I had some problems in the queue corner where the left and right button to change the cues showed didn't react correctly. You can tap the arrow button, but that is a bit tedious if you ask me. But I think I was just unlucky that the game thought I wanted to grab a cue and not press the arrow buttons. The settings in the game isn't filled with a hundred different things, it literally just has the options that is needed. You can change your dominant hand. You can switch between one or two hand mode. You can adjust audio and then you can adjust how you want to move and how much angle the snap turning turns you if you use that or turn it to smooth turning. I would have loved if the game had a way to adjust your height. It's not a problem when playing pool, which is the main purpose of the game. But I did have a little problem with the arcade cabinet that is next to the bar which has a little frog game with two buttons. I was a bit too short for that, but that was the only real problem height wise. You can also press the bottom button on the controller to get a control scheme hovering from your hands. I do feel that it can be a little confusing because it doesn't show a ghost of the controllers. So it can be hard to see what buttons the lines point to. The controls in the game is super well made and intuitive. I love the way you can move around the table as that is a right usage of teleportation with snap turning mixed in. You can also turn when getting ready to shoot so you can really get the right angle needed. Plus you can spin the cue ball. You have four different game modes including the tutorial. You have multiplayer where you play against other people. Then you have single player where you play against the chosen AI, there's 12 of them. And then you have couch mode where you pass the VR headset to the other person that you play with. By default pool party is enabled which does so your friends can join you at any time if they have the game too. At least that's what I think. I actually like that feature as it does so you can relax in the game by maybe playing solo. Not sure if you can play solo without an AI though. But then a friend can join and you guys can have fun. You can play 1v1 and have two additional spectators in the map. A 2v2 mode is coming soon. You can also adjust settings in the match like how much aim assist lines you want, if you want pocket calls for all balls or only the 8 ball and also a shot clock timer. If you choose to play in one hand mode, then you get close 
and ready to shoot by pressing up on the analog stick. On either of the joysticks, my guess would be the dominant hand, obviously. You then hold down the trigger when you are in place to get ready to shoot, and then you shoot just like normal, but with one hand. The game is fully playable for a wheelchair user. If you can move your arms enough to shoot with a pool cue, it doesn't need that much movement, but it does need some, obviously. The game is super fun, and I didn't expect to, to enjoy it as much as I did. The game is very pleasing, and it looks great, and runs without problems directly on the Quest headset. The game is only on the MetaQuest 2 store for $19.99. If you feel like I'm missing something or could have done something differently, then leave a comment and remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to check out this video here where I'm reviewing real VR fishing.